Welcome. It is Monday again, Victory in Biz Accountability and Success Call. I'm Vanessa Raymond, your confidence and success coach, and I am so happy to be here with you today where we are going to do some accountability, ask, some, ask and answer some questions. And then I'm also going to talk about the fact that we are nearing the end of the year and what are the systems we need to make sure to get in place for our businesses to scale, whether it be to a five-figure, six-figure, or seven-figure business, these are important things for all of us to have. So with that said, I want to welcome Kelvin. It's his first mastermind call today. Um, do you want to just take a second and introduce yourself to Joanne and David here, Kelvin? I sure can. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Uh, my name is Calvin Evans, and I am a Russian and Chinese uh, linguist, U.S. Air Force veteran. Um, I have six kids, and uh, I have just moved from the Western Slope to beautiful Denver, Colorado area uh, over the last, ooh, since a couple, I'd say two or three months now. Uh, excited about being here. I've known uh Robert and Vanessa for about 12 years now, which is amazing how time flies. And I'm glad to be here. Uh, my business is a fitness and wellness app called uh, Exodus Adventures that you can download uh, on your phone, whether it's an Android or an Apple phone. Uh, and I've been in fitness for over 20 years. Uh, 2017, I decided to take my business online uh, and I've kept it there ever since. So I'm excited to be here. Uh, I had the opportunity to go to the Achieve Biz Conference. Uh, is it almost a week and a half ago? Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> I can't yes. believe how fast time flies. Uh, had know. a great turnout, met a lot of great people, uh, and now I'm going to take my business to the next level. Awesome. Thank you, Kelvin. Hello, Kim. Welcome, honey. Good to see you as always. I love the red. It's very pretty on you. Annette. Annette's joining us. Hi, Annette. Well, with that said, so today I would like to do a little bit of goal setting. Hi, Annette. Welcome. So we're going to do our goal setting for the week. And then uh, I want to see if anybody has any questions today that we can answer. And then we will talk about the systems you need in your business to scale. Uh, because the end of the year is nearing. What do we need to do to uh, hit our targets for the end of the year? And what do we need to get in place to start strong in the new year? Uh, there's Mac, welcome Mac. All right, so with that said, uh, Joanne, it's so good to see you. I'm gonna just start with you today because uh, I've missed your little face. I know, hi. <laughs> yeah, hi. So tell us a little bit about what have you got going on and what are your goals for this week? What's your main goal? Um, I actually have my first post-COVID face-to-face um, -face, uh, public speaking thing going on this week. So, you know, I'm really trying to decide what that's going to look like. Um, you know, I'm sort of sitting here thinking I'm going to give them a little flyer maybe with um, a QR code for my Audible. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about the call to action. I think, you know, the speech will be fine. I can speak about this all day long, but it's the call to action that I really feel like I need to be strong on. So that's what I'm playing with now this week is getting that done. Right, right. And so you have your Audible, uh, which is your book, and you have your book. Uh, are you thinking about what is, what is your like, main offer right now for people that's the thing I haven't got it fully set up yet okay. so you know um right now it's just the book and then to follow me and also I was gonna say um maybe maybe a one-to-one -one offer I don't know I don't know I have to, that's what I have to solidify today well, you and if you want to talk about it, feel free to reach out. We can chat about that a little bit. But it's always good to offer that one-on-one -on -one strategy call. You can make it a limited amount. You can say, hey, for the first 10 people who get to my table after I speak, I have a free one-on-one uh, -on -one strategy call or whatever you want to call a discovery call. I feel like that's always a good option because you can schedule it a week or two out and get your offer ready in time and be, be more secure about what you are offering by then. So that would be my suggestion. I mean, absolutely offer them the book. Um, and in order for them to follow you, a, a really great 
idea too, something you can do is have everyone right there and then hop on their phones, take a picture of themselves in the room and say, hey, post this to my group. Give them the group address in Facebook or Instagram, wherever you want them to go. And that way you have them there immediately um, engaging to follow you. Yeah. And then also get the emails for email lists and all of that. But but yeah, I have to, I'm realizing that it's a little bit more prep work than I intend, that I thought it would be up scrambling now. So it always is. But the good <laughs> news is once it's set up, it's set up yeah. for good and you can use it for all your speaking engagements. So cool. You'll get it done. Thank you, Joanne. Thank awesome. you. Annette, it's good to see you, hon. How are you today? It's so good to see you, Vanessa. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> David with his pumpkin background there. I love it. I know. Um, so what has been happening for you and what do you have going on? Uh, what's your number one goal for the week? Well, I'm still trying to articulate. I'm at the beginning stages of trying to articulate the business. So I'm working on that. Um, but my end of the year uh, goal would be to somehow figure out how to create a charter. I'm really interested in that. I had talked to Rob about that a little bit. Um, and so it's either that or the book. I, I need to get working on the book as well uh, before the end of the year. So either one of those, I think, is going to help uh, build the business Um but again, I'm still in the baby stages trying to articulate coming up with my catalog and um, those kinds of things. But I'm holding off a little bit because I'm going to university. So I'm thinking that that will be a good time for me to figure all that, all those, those things that out. That will be, you know, Rob, especially with the catalog, Rob's going to go through that with you guys. And also please reach out to me. I can send you some examples if you need something to reference. Um, I can help you with that too. That would but, be great. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. But I'm excited to see you at university in a few weeks. Yeah, me awesome. too. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to it. Thank awesome. you. Thank you, Annette. Uh, Mac, welcome. Good to see you. Good to be seen. Yeah. So what's gone on for you since conference and uh, what's on your uh, radar for this coming week as far as goals go? Well, uh, I'm, I just got back from a leaders conference in uh, Utah. You probably saw a bunch of stuff uh, going by on that. Uh, uh, we're going through some changes there. New owners, uh, uh, new, you know, $300 million debt-free company. And uh, uh, it's all very exciting. And then I'm doing my regular stuff. Uh, I'm heading down to Texas. Uh, on Saturday, so I'm not going to be in town for uh, uh, for the university, but uh, Eva's going to reach out and get me the dates for the the next one, so I can get it on my calendar. Um, you know, being at uh, the Achieve Conference a couple of weeks ago, just you know, everything has been going. I, I was there. I, I drove over to Utah. I drove home. Now I'm leaving again, so I'm I'm playing catch up on everything, but. Uh, uh, just a lot of exciting stuff going on and that, uh, you know, uh, we're opening up uh, Nigeria here uh, tomorrow, actually. Uh, so that's uh, real exciting and uh, just moving forward with everything. That's super exciting. And I'm glad you had a good time at the conference and also at your leadership conference. I did. I did see some stuff on Facebook. So thanks for sharing. Uh, welcome, Adriana. Nice to see you. Welcome, Robert and Noel. Nice to see you. We're just going around the room and sharing um, uh, events and goals. Kim, what is going on for you, girl? What is going on for me? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, this week, um, well, I've got three big events coming up in November. Um, and so this week, it's um, I'm being asked, we're building my YouTube channel, for those that are not aware. I'm headed toward 900 now, um, subscribers, and, and about 700 hours it's a mix of viewing. Um, I need 4,000 hours to monetize. And... Um, so, you know, there's this growing and, and, and 
I need to post at least three videos a week. So I learned, Dan was very helpful this morning. We had a mutually supportive call, which was great. Um, it showed me how to schedule YouTube videos. Oh. Um, so, and then, you know, my guy that's doing the promotion that within a month I've gone from like under 300 subscribers to almost heading toward 850 of them. Um, you know, he wants me to do a YouTube every day and I'm going, oh my God. A lot. And so, so that I can monetize. Um, and, and so there's just a lot of, I'm realizing how much I love. And there's this other video movie that we're finishing up. Um, uh, and so how much I love doing this and making a difference this way. Um, so it's, setting up a new payment portal with my guy, um, getting three videos posted this week, and now that I'm doing how to schedule. And then there's another project um, in that my book um, can now be, we'll do an, a revised version. So it'll be a new release for next year um, and uh, making it print on demand and looking into becoming a master of audacity. So I can do an audio book. Absolutely. Uh, a lot going on. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Joanne has something to share. Yeah. Can can you share in the comments your link so we can subscribe and. Oh, I would use. love to. I yeah. will share a thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will share a, a few links. Um, yeah. Uh, just real quick. So other have time. One of them, will, well, I'll put it all in the comments. There you go. Thank you, Joanne. Appreciate that. And thank you, everybody. Of course. Please share, Kim. That's wonderful. Adriana, I would love for you to introduce yourself. I don't know how many people here know you. It's your first poll. Welcome. Uh, let us uh, just tell everyone who you are and what you do. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, so I was like, well, I think I can make the the links or let, the meeting, excuse me. And uh, so I'm Adriana Morrison. I'm an online fitness and nutrition coach. Um, I attended the conference and I was blown away by just all the incredible people that I met. Um, I am just outside of Denver. And uh, let's see, I just hopped on because I'm kind of like, well, here goes, not here goes nothing, but here we yeah. go. Oh, good. I'm so time. happy you're here. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, let's see. I feel like I'm playing the juggler with life and plot twist and things. Um, so I am working on several things at once. And the, the biggest thing is uh, I'm trying, my app is in the final, final stages and I have to upload content, but I uh, it, it's been a year in the making and, uh, I have to be careful about copyright issues and music and things like that. But my platform will be one where it's like a, a coach in your pocket. So I know there's others that are out there. And so I, I bring the nutrition piece to the table in all of that realm. So it's going to be subscriptions. Uh, it's, it's going to be varying tiers. So I have that going. Uh, I have two digital products that I'm working on. One's already done. And I, I got in, I got connected with a, a TikTok influencer who she's the real deal when it comes to digital products. So we, I took a chance at a one-on-one. -on -one. So she kind of felt compelled with my story because I shared with her and, and others at the conference that um, I'm also an autism mom. So three of my four kids are on the autism spectrum and uh, life got shanked into a high gear like right now. So I'm uh, trying to pause for thought as we go along, that sort of thing. And uh, and so so we're trying to align. We have meetings every Tuesday uh, for the next four months. She's doing pro bono. I didn't ask her to do that, but she was like, listen, you, we've, we've got to get you going because of all that you're, you bring to the table. Uh, and I was like, yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, my goal is to be able to scale my business so that I could better be able to be all hands on deck with my family. 
Um, without going, without taking up too much time, we're going through legal guardianship with my 18 year old who is, thank goodness I can like hold my own weight because he's getting, the behaviors are increasingly violent at school and we're, we're working feverishly behind the scenes, all of that. But, you know, when things happen, everything shuts down. So now it's mission critical that we align these things so that they, so that they naturally, you know, that they, they could just take its course. And then I'm able to discern where my, you know, I don't have to be at 10 places at once. The other thing too, so social media real quickly. Um, I, I feel like the algorithm hates me. The algorithm hates me. I'm, con I'm convinced. So my TikTok is, is moderately is gaining traction in ways that I didn't expect. Um, Instagram, I get five likes for stuff. So I feel like I'm getting shadow banned. I don't do anything inappropriate. Um, it's very relevant and contemporary to the health and wellness. I, my, my goal is that I teach people how to age backwards. Um, I say I'm 49, I have a litter of kids and, you know, and I'm living proof that you can certainly, um, you know, take life by the horns. So, so that's me. I don't have a YouTube channel. I, I just, that's a whole other beast. And so I'm trying to navigate all of this and that's where I'm at. So that's in a quick nutshell or as much of a nutshell as I can. Put. <laughs> thank you for sharing and thank you for letting us know who you are and what you do. And yes, congratulations. I am sh I'm sure aware, we're all aware how, uh, how taxing it can be to have that many kids and then to also have three on the autism spectrum that really requires a lot. So bravo to you. Um, thank you for sharing. Awesome. Uh, let's go with David. David, time for you to share. Yes. Um, thank you so much for hosting such an amazing meeting. Got to meet a lot of people. Um, it's really cool. We have a little inside group of some of the stuff we got going on with the 617. But those of us who are in the know. Yeah. And um, so for me, it's really it's holiday season. Um, my fuel product was really well accepted at the group and all that. So what we're doing is I've got to develop a holiday campaign. And of course we have Black Friday coming up. So I'm, I'm, I'm designing some advertising and things of that nature with Santa Claus driving, perhaps stickers on a sleigh or, or you know, the other, the community. So it's a lot of fun, a lot of good time of year, especially if you're in a networking business like I am, um, for, for your members to go out and share the product by giving them a gift of the product. It's a great way to share it. It really, it really is. And we think we've got something special. So a lot of what I'm doing focus on right now is the product. Also, I sent Robert a copy of my children's book. I don't know if he's read it yet or anything called The Land of Lost Socks. And I'm looking forward to getting some feedback from him on it. It says a really cute story that I wrote several years ago because frankly, I couldn't find a pair of socks to save my life. And where was it? I went to The Land of Lost Socks. So I wrote the story in about, um, four days, you know, 7,500 words, just franked it out. And so love to get his feedback on that. So I'm looking forward to connecting with him. Fantastic. I'd love to look at that too. I'm sure my son will enjoy it also. Yes. And anybody else who have children. Thanks, uh, David. And I want to add to that. Yes. Great time now to get your holiday promotions ready. I think next week on our call, we should talk about Black Friday and how to prepare for that. That would be a uh, very productive call, I think. Um, Robert and Noel, you two, one at a time. What do you have going on? And <laughs> what is your um, goal for this week? Uh, so just had a cool interview with Dave Stevens uh, on our podcast. He's the, it'll release next month, but he's the only person born with no legs to have played in the minor leagues, uh, pitch hit for Daryl Strawberry in, in a game in the minor leagues and played college football with no legs. So um, that was pretty cool conversation. And he happens to be in Philadelphia, took in the Philadelphia game yesterday and is there for the World Series broadcasting. So wow. that was really cool this morning. Um, and then uh, we've got a book launch author mixer event um, coming up on November. November 30th in the Springs and this December 1st in Denver. Oh, December 1st. And, and that'll be a date. We're going to be doing a daytime networking. More like It'll be more like a networking event for authors. Um, so. Oh, awesome. It'll be pretty cool to connect some authors and just, yeah, create conversation and networking around books. Love that. Love that. Love we will that. get some information. When I get the details, we will uh, see about getting uh, the wellness book there too. 
Okay. Yeah. I was just going to say, let me know and we'll figure that out. Um, yeah. And you know, well, um, I am working on a talk. I'm going to be on Julianne's show on the 13th and then another episode uh, personally after that. So um, I chatted with her before she made her fabulous tri trip to Greece, um, but I'm working on what I'm going to say for my, my time on that and just working on uh, expressing who I am and putting it down in words. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, girl. Awesome. Uh, Calvin, do you just want to share with us uh, maybe one goal that you have for this coming week, something you need to get done in your business? You're still muted, by the way. Yes, uh, a goal for me uh, for this coming up week uh, is to have at least two new clients this week for my app, at least two more. Fantastic. I love when people set goals that has numbers attached to them. <laughs> so you know what you're going for. Awesome. All right. Well, you know, might be someone on this call even. Who knows, guys, if any of you are interested in finding out about more about Calvin's app, uh, Calvin, pop in the chat box there how people can connect with you. Uh, if they might even just want to know about it, you know, they might not join just right away, but they might want to know more about what it's about. And um, Adriana, same goes for you. People might want to know more about what your app's about. I know it's not launched yet, but, you know, I, I want to encourage all of you when we're on these calls to do connect. You know, that's why we get together here so we can connect on a deeper level. Uh, any questions before I do my little little spiel, my little teaching moment for you guys. Anyone have any questions? Anything that needs to be solved right away? Doesn't look like it. Well, fantastic. So today, I just want to take a quick moment. Uh, we have about eight minutes left here and share with you, uh, you know, we're, we're nearing the end of the year and now is time to push, push and get to our goals that we made for the year. Uh, if especially if you feel like you haven't gotten there yet, or maybe you need to set some new goals. And if that is not it, the systems that I want to run through now quickly, I want you to check off in your mind or even on a piece of paper, which ones of these systems do you have in place? Because for any business that's going to scale, doesn't matter where you're scaling to five figures or six figures or seven figures, wherever you're scaling, these systems are very important. Now, these are not necessarily the systems that's going to sustain that for you. These are the systems you need to up level, all right? So I just wanted to go through these. And a lot of you have some of these in place, but you want to make sure that they run seamlessly and that they all, uh, and if they're not in place, you need to put them in place. So um, the first one is a visibility system for lead generation. Now, a lot of people confuse content creation with visibility right? Those are, those are two different things. So let's talk about the difference. So content, um, you know, content would be if you're, you're creating your blog posts, your social media posts, you're maybe even um, doing workshops or courses, or you have a podcast and you're, you're broadcasting. So you're creating content and sharing that with people. The, the, the thing about that is, is that usually that content tends to just go out to our small circle, the people that are already in our network, the people that we are already connected with. Oh, David, I have Halloween nails. See, Halloween nails. <laughs> I was like, I forgot it. All right, I forgot about that. Um. So, but when it comes to visibility, when it comes to visibility, you want to make sure you are making yourself visible to a larger audience. You're going beyond the group of people that are already following you or already um, engaged in what you're doing. In other words, um, yes, a podcast is great for that, but your podcast still just kind of goes out to those people. Guesting on other people's podcasts, now you're starting to gain extra visibility because you are expanding to other people's um, networks, right? Or uh, so you're leveraging other people's audiences so, or you're live streaming on Facebook uh, or you're running ads. Or then, of course, like a few of you were saying, speaking at live events, going to networking. Now that we're all live again, uh, like Joanne said, it's her first 
live post-COVID engagement. Those live events, guys, there is where we're talking about visibility. You're expanding your reach. OPA, right? Other people's audiences. That's where the visibility comes in. So you really want to figure out how are you staying visible beyond your network? right? How are you getting your content out to other people? How are you, Kim, getting your YouTube channel out to other people, right? Not just yours. So, so visibility, a system for visibility, that's number one, all right? So number two, of course, your systems for marketing, right? What are you doing to market your business? Marketing is a way of nurturing those people uh, who are in your, in your ecosystem. So now you've become visible. You bring people into your ecosystem. Now you want to nurture those people. What is the journey you're taking them on? Um, whether they, they, you are taking them through discovery calls uh, or you have a team that's doing that, make sure if you have a team, Make sure your whole, the whole team is aligned and they're all on the same page and they all have the message down, right? You want to be very clear about your message and uh, take your audience through that no like, and trust process. That's your marketing, right? That's your marketing system. Visibility, marketing, sales. So marketing and sales are two different things as we know. So once you've brought them through that system, do you have goals for yourself? Like Kelvin said, I want to sign two people up this week for my app. That's a sales goal, right? Um, how many consultations are you doing per day or per week? How are you reaching out to new leads, right? How are you bringing them in and then making an offer? Um, are you doing your Achieve 5 marketing system? Let me see who here doesn't know what the Achieve 5 marketing system is. A few of you are new. So those of you who are new, that's in the resource center for you, okay? So when you go into the resource center, it's actually on the first page. You'll see a big blue circle with a five in it. That's our marketing five system. It's a very simple system you can follow to bring people in and then take them through your process to the sales process. And then... Um, so we did, we said visibility, marketing, sales, and then what's your delivery system? Do you have your high ticket offer in place? Do you have your sales funnel in place? Do you know what that is? Do you know how to eloquently talk about it? I, I will, I will never forget, um, you know, I, I worked with Lila, Lila for a while as my business coach and she made me say my offer over and over and over till I had it so seamless that there's no hesitation. Okay. So you want to know what your offer is and how you're presenting it at the end of your call. How are you presenting it to someone? Are you being clear? Are you clear about what, what problem you're solving? Are you clear about um, are, are you making your offer enticing for people and that they want to engage, right? And then last but not least, number five, no one can do it alone, right? You have to have a team and you guys are all with Achieve so that you can have a team. We are your team, people. Or if you have, if you need that virtual assistant that can help you with certain things, or you need someone that can help you with sales, or you need someone that can get hop on the call with your prospects, right? We all need a team. But that is what Achieve is about. Achieve is about offering you that support system. And if you're not sure what it is you need, Schedule a call with one of the leaders. Again, in the resource center, you can find the Rolodex. There's phone numbers for all the leaders. Reach out to us. We can help you get the support that you need. And that's what we're here for. All right. So who, with a show of hands, who here have all those things in place? All right, so we have a little work to do, okay? Me included. Guys, I'm not excluded from this. I have some work to do too. So I'm talking to myself just as hard as I am to, to you. But those five things, if you want to scale your business and specifically your high ticket offer, guys, listen, 
if you want to get to six or seven figures, you cannot just be selling $24 products or $300 products even. You need to get your high ticket offer in place because that is the one thing that's going to help you scale your business and your income exponentially. All right. Any questions about any of that? Any or any additions? Anyone want to add anything? Well, it's so wonderful to see you all here today. Thank you for showing up like rock stars. So happy to have you all here. Have a wonderful Halloween. Enjoy and a joy. Welcome. I just, um, I didn't have a chance to say hi to you. The call is over. It's from 115 to 145. We would love to see you again here next week. Okay, honey. Mwah. All right, everyone. Have a beautiful week. Go out, reach your goals. And I'll see you next week. Uh, same time, same place. Bye, everyone.